Today we're taking a quick look around the news that the Sigma FP was used on set for the new Halo TV series and what that may mean for future or current Sigma FP owners. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically filmmaking gear, tutorials, and a look at the projects that I'm working on. And so if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now back in March, Paramount did launch the first season of the Halo TV series. And over the past week, cinematographer Carl Walton Lindenlob, who worked on some of those episodes, came out and said that they actually used the Sigma FP for some of the first person angles for a few of those episodes. And so with that news, I thought it'd be kind of fun to break down and talk about some of the specifics around this news. And so that's what we're talking about here today. Starting first with covering what the FP was actually used for in a couple of these episodes. And now if I haven't, I'm going to go ahead and show you a behind the scenes image of the FP being used on set and you can very clearly see it's being used in a head rig scenario for a first person angle. This being a TV series based on a first person shooter, this would make sense to have a first person angle. Now Carl did start by saying they used Pocket 6Ks originally for this setup, but they eventually moved to the Sigma FP again just to shed weight. Now that's the scenario that Sigma FP was being used with, but what was the A camera and what can we learn from that? What can we take from that? Now, the main camera that was being used was an Arri Alexa LF. I think they may have been using an LF and LF Mini, but that being said, they were using a large format Arri Alexa camera. And so that's something you want to think about too, is that they were using the Sigma FP in sort of what maybe some people would see as a crash cam scenario to go alongside with the footage that they were shooting with the Arri Alexa. Now, admittedly, I haven't watched the Halo series, and so I can't tell you, and I can't speak to how well they cut together, but knowing that people are indeed the Sigma FP to see if it would cut well with the Arri Alexa, that just speaks already to the fact that Sigma FP could potentially cut really well with Arri Alexa footage. So again, this just speaks volumes to what the FP can do performance wise. Now talking about performance, I did want to address possible codecs and resolutions that were used for the FP in this scenario for filming these episodes of the Halo TV series. Now I do want to start by saying this is purely speculation on some of the things we do know about the series. One is the fact that we do know based on IMDB that the series was delivered it in 4k so we can go ahead and speculate that the fp was shot in 4k and with the ssd mounted to the side of the camera like you see in the behind the scenes image you can most likely speculate that it was shot in full cinema dng raw now this is something that's really cool because this is not the first film or a film set that has used the FP. There's actually a feature film that's being produced right now that's using the FP, but that feature film, I believe, is being shot in B-Raw, and so it's really nice to see that something is using the native cinema DNG that the Sigma FP does produce. And so again, this is based on speculation, but based on the format that the show was delivered in, the Sigma FP was shooting in 4K, and because the SSD is mounted to the side, most likely they're shooting in cinema DNG RAW. I would also speculate they're not going to be shooting an all I or long GOP in the 8-bit codec. I just, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not the case. <laughs> now, mounting the SSD to the camera, I've gotten questions about what this mount is. This is a Tilta SSD mount that you can use for the T5. It was put out with the rig for the Pocket 4K and 6K, but I have used it on the Sigma FP a couple times when I didn't have something else to use, but that is actually what they're using here. I'll include a link to that SSD mount in the links below, so go check that out. Now, they are using a Laowa lens, and information on that lens will be in the links below as well. And then lastly, on the FP itself, they are using a small rig basic cage for the Sigma FP. And so those are some specifics as well as some speculation around the news that the Sigma FP was used on set for the Halo TV series. Now, what does all this mean for current or potentially future Sigma FP owners? It really may not mean anything, but it is really cool to see this small, powerful camera being used on actual film sets. And so for me, it just tells me what I've already known for years now using this camera, that this camera is very much capable of producing great 
quality content. Now, is it the perfect camera for you and your production? I can't answer that. That's really coming down to your production needs. The production for the Halo TV series, they needed something powerful and lightweight, and that's where the Sigma FP shined. And so when it comes to should you buy the Sigma FP, it really comes down to what you need for your production. And so look at everything that you need and base your camera buying decisions off of what you need. But with all that being said, if you need a powerful, small package camera, the Sigma FP is definitely one to check out. Does it have blazing fast autofocus? Absolutely not. But if that is not an issue for you, absolutely check out something like the Sigma FP if everything else about the FP meets the needs of your production. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this different format, just looking at the news and speculation around the Sigma FP being used on set for the Halo TV series. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. If you do have any questions about the FP and what it can do and what it offers, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace.